Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again so much for our time together. I want us to come back today to the book of Exodus chapter 34, beginning with verse 5. I call this a leader's revelation of God. I want you to remember with me what Moses knew of God. The God in the burning bush, the plagues of Egypt. But if he's going to lead the people of Israel, he needs to understand more about God than God's strength, God's power, God's judgment. So God reveals himself. Then the Lord came down in a pillar of cloud and called out his own name, the Lord. As Moses stood there in his presence, he passed in front of Moses and said, I am the Lord, I am the Lord, the merciful and gracious God. I am slow to anger and rich in unfailing love and faithfulness. And I show this unfailing love to many thousands by forgiving every kind of sin and rebellion. Moses, if you're going to lead the people, you need to know more than the judgment and hellfire and brimstone. Moses, you need to know I'm a gracious and a merciful God. I'm a forgiving God. Moses, these are things you need to understand. If you're going to bring the people close to God, you can't be afraid of God. I talk to many young pastors today, and they've been around the hellfire, judgment, and brimstone stuff, and so they rebelled against that, and they've gone so far over to the grace message, and it's not even a grace message, it's antinomianism. They've gone so far over to the other extreme, but they rebelled against an understanding that all of this is God. The same God who, who destroyed Pharaoh in the sea, the same God who, who wiped out the firstborn of, of the Egyptians, he's the same God who says, I'm gracious and loving and merciful. I'm rich in unfaith, unfailing love and faithfulness. God is not single faceted. Some young leaders need to understand the holiness of God. Some young leaders need to understand the grace and the mercy and the faithfulness and the love of God. You need the whole balance if you're going to lead God's people. <music>